Hey guys, Dylan here, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak um, a large amount of your iDevice using Green Poison on 4.2.1, and if you're on an iPhone 4 Verizon, 4.2.6, and this is going to jailbreak iPod Touch 2G, all boot ROMs, iPod Touch 3G, 4G, the iPad first generation, the iPhone 3GS, all boot ROMs, and that's the one I'm going to be demonstrating on to, er, for you guys iPhone 4, as I said before, iPhone 4 Verizon, and the Apple TV second generation, or second, yeah, second generation. So first of all, um, I'm going to need you guys to download the Green Poison application. You can get this for all Mac, Windows, and Linux. So you're going to have to go to your web browser. I use Firefox. And, second I'll load. Um, you need to go to Google and type in Green Poison. I'm also going to have this in the description. It's just greenpoison.com. And the O between the S and the N is a zero. And you're just going to see uh, the green poison symbol. And you're going to have Mac, Linux, or Windows. I'm doing this on a Mac. So you click the Mac version. You're going to save the zip file, get it to download, and archive it. And then the finder's going to open. And then here we go right here. And you're going to find the application and the README, which I was just reading off of. Same thing. And oh, by the way, one other thing, if you read down here, notes, um, if you're on Jailbreak Monty right now, you got to restore your device. So you're just going to go to the application. It's got to open it. It's going to ask you, are you jailbreaking an Apple TV? Because Apple TV jailbreaking and iDevice jailbreaking are different. So I'm jailbreaking a 3GS. So you're going to click no. And then you're going to have to connect your iDevice to your computer. There we go. And then you're going to, oh, it's going to pop up with that. And then you're going to press the jailbreak button. Oops. Oh, and I, if iTunes comes up, you have to quit it. Um, Summer set where it automatically opens. Sorry, I forgot to add that earlier. So now you're going to press get ready to start, and you're going to have to put it into DFU mode. So in order to put it into DFU mode, you're going to, oh, the instructions will be right there but I am going to demonstrate it. I'll do it sideways. And let's do this. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, oh, and there we go, it's jailbreaking. So what you're going to see here, and we're going to start seeing some stuff come up in a second. It's jailbreaking, it's going to come up, it's going to come up with a white screen. There we go. It's going to come up with this little stuff. Kind of looks like it's going to look like a terminal screen. It's still going to be jailbreaking on there. There we go. Now it's starting to come up with this stuff. So this definitely does take a second to finish. Um, so just to avoid, um, well, timing, I'm going to start this back up when it's done doing this. I'll see you in a second. There we go. We're back. It just took, like, not even 30 more seconds. And instead of the Apple symbol, now you're going to see it's kind of like a Photoshop version with the green poison. And still on a computer, it's just, you can see the complete button. So you just press that, and it's going to close down now. So... That's all you need to do on your computer in now. So this is going to take a little bit more, so I'm going to see you guys when it's done. 
So now it's done, and it's going to come to your lock screen. It took at least five minutes to do, so just go and relax for a little bit and come back, and it'll be done. And um, so mine was previously jailbroken, so I can't demonstrate this next part. It's how to install Cydia because mine's already installed. So I am going to put in another video on an unjailbroken device to do this. So see you when that's over. Okay, now we're going to slide to unlock. We're going to scroll over. Right there is Loader. We're going to use this to install Cydia on our devices. Make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is enabled so you can actually install Cydia. Right there, Cydia. Tap that. Install Cydia. Okay, now we're going to exit out of the application and it will automatically um, respring itself or reboot, my bad. <laughs> Okay, we're going to slide to unlock, scroll over, and now you have Cydia on your device, okay? Um, if you want to, you can actually delete the loader application. It's no big deal if you don't want to or not, but I'm going to go into Cydia for the first time to prove to you that it is working.